Hello, world. Welcome to the first ever episode of Hearts and Carts. I'm your co-host, Justin Osborne, along with my other co-host, Alex Hill. Say hi, Alex. Hey, guys. So we are really excited to be coming to you with our first ever episode, kicking off the series. Um, The name Hearts and Carts was inspired by a conversation between Alex and I. Alex, you want to kick off the reasoning for that? Yeah, so when we were setting out to make a podcast about consumer products, which is for both of us a career and a passion, we really felt like we wanted to focus in on the brands and and the way that consumers get to know them, uh, hence the hearts, um, and the process of getting those products uh, built and all the way into a consumer's possession, uh, which usually ends in the cart. So Hence the uh, hence the name Hearts and Carts. Plus, it rhymed, so that was a that was a big that was also a big factor for us. The rhyming was very important. Yes, that's that's very true. Yeah, Alex and I have both been in the CPG world for uh, ten plus years now at this point, which kind of makes us feel old. Crazy, but uh, over that time, have fallen in love with the space and met a lot of amazing people, and. Um, you know, wanted to put together a podcast to help people that can follow in our footsteps, so to speak. So people that are starting off in the CPG space, interested in the CPG space, want to hear from people that have been successful there uh, and hopefully pick up some some tips and tricks along the way. So what exactly is Hearts and Carts? What's the vision? For us, it's really aimed at being for anyone with an interest in the world of consumer products but especially tailored towards those people who are either looking at starting a career or early in their career, you know, working on maybe building their network and understanding how people in those more senior positions with the experience under their belt are thinking about problems. To accomplish that vision, we're looking at incorporating interviews with cross-functional professionals, veteran CPG leaders, entrepreneurs across the various sectors and and segments and categories of the market. We'll also splice that in over time with deep dives on topics. Maybe we'll do uh, a look at inflation or or new regulation or other media that might be changing the game. As well, we'd like to bring at some point multiple guests in to have expert panels and talk about topical issues. And lastly, we might just have the occasional fun monologue um, along the way. Yeah, the good news behind our format is that it'll be a lot less Alex and I talking and a lot of exciting guests that'll be doing the talking. And we'll get to learn along with our listeners, um, which is something we're really excited about. So Alex and I have been friends for a number of years. Why the heck are we starting a podcast instead of just you know hanging out as per usual and having beers? For me, it's it's really about sharing some of the mentors that I've had the opportunity to work with, allowing them to showcase themselves, allowing them to pass on some of the knowledge that I've you know been lucky enough to receive to the rest of the world, connecting with some old friends and colleagues that I haven't seen in a long time, haven't talked to in a long time, building those relationships and continuing to learn from them. Alex, what are you most excited about with this podcast? So I I think first and foremost, you know, lots of the things you just said resonate for me, but I'm always eager to connect with and learn from smart people. Uh, I'm a big believer that there's lots of great work always. It's it's almost astounding how much great work and how much intelligence is out there with other people. And if you open yourself to it, there's so much you can take from that. And that's part of it for me. And also giving back to people who listen is a big focus for me. I love the medium of audio as a way of learning, both audiobooks and podcasts specifically. Mm -hmm. And I just really am interested in the subject matter. I'm excited to talk in, you know, topics about leadership, market dynamics, consumer psychology, market execution, 
the latest in the retail and, and consumer products landscape. So for me, those are some of the big reasons. Yeah, yeah, agreed. So at this point, unless you are someone that's that's really close to us, you're probably wondering who the heck are Alex and Justin, uh, you know, the two people starting this podcast. So thought we'd give a little insight into our backgrounds and, and I'll go first, Alex, and then pass it over to you. So I've been in the CPG space now for uh, about 12 years. After graduating, I started my career in traditional CPG. So working for internships at a couple of companies, PepsiCo, uh, Pfizer, and SC Johnson. That led to four and a half year stint with SC Johnson, where I worked in, in various roles on the uh, category side, the direct sales side on Loblaws and Costco, and then moving over to the, the marketing team and managing our, our Ziploc business for, for Canada, which was uh, amazing. From there, I actually moved across the, the country, moved all the way to Vancouver and moved into a new space, the natural space with a brand called Vega, which is a plant-based protein powder. So that was an exciting way for me to branch out from, from traditional CBG and learn about a whole new world of the natural space. You know, smaller startup companies, the private equity world, VC firms, all of that exciting stuff, and just expanding to the US as well, which I which I found really, really fascinating. Was in some different roles there, first leading the, the sales strategy and planning team, and then moving into uh, managing the Canadian and USA club business. Which, which was an awesome experience and, and absolutely love the team. Hopefully some of them are listening right now. And then about nine months ago, moved over to a company called Eat and Beyond Global, which is a investment issuer in the plant-based space. So saying on uh, sort of the plant-based side of the world and now bringing my expertise from you know, larger CPG into some of these smaller startups and helping them scale and build out their businesses. So that's, that's kind of me in a nutshell. Alex, I'll, I'll pass it over to you. So my career kind of in the industry adjacency started at the Canadian Marketing Association, where I was a, a research intern working on an annual publication they did. Then later, when doing my MBA, I did a couple of internships, first one at SC Johnson in category development, and my second at PepsiCo marketing uh, the Tropicana brand, after which I ended up going back to SC Johnson and that turned into a full-time job. I and mean, I spent a few years in sales, uh, you know, touching accounts like Canadian Tire, Shoppers Drug Mart, Loblaws, uh, and Costco a, a little bit, and then made the jump after three and a half, four years over to the marketing side, where I worked on the Ziploc business, worked on great partnerships with that brand, such as Disney and the Toronto Blue Jays. And did that for a little while, over two years, and then moved over to manage the insect control business for Esty Johnson, uh, the Off and Raid brand, which was a great experience. First time owning a PL, having a team. And uh, more recently, probably you know, about nine months ago, I uh, was tapped to lead the air care and pest control businesses for. Canada and oversee the off raid and uh, Glade brands. And yeah, so it's been, I guess, nine years at SC Johnson and I do want to give a little love and shout out to the company because I really do love the culture there and, and the people and have had such a great experience. I know, Justin, you have a lot of the same feelings and yeah, I really think they live up to those family company values. Yeah. And I think what you'll, you'll see is a lot of our guests have a little bit of SCJ in their background. Great company that's set up a lot of people for success, which is, which is exciting. And of course, a company that uh, I got to work with Alex at, and that's how we sort of built out our friendship. So that's an important piece of this podcast is it all sort of started there. Yeah. Uh, well, if you back up, actually, we we originally met, I think, because we both worked at Pepsi. I, I right. seem to be the guy who followed Justin in all of his internships. I was in the year behind him in school <laughs> yeah. and I, I didn't really know him. I just kept reading the work term reports he would write for the career office about his favorite sandwiches and, and whatnot <laughs> at uh, the cafeteria <laughs> and so on. But then when I got to PepsiCo, I, I, I started to know what he looked like because he had pasted actual photographs of himself 
all around the office in areas yeah. I don't even know why he would have had any occasion to walk to, but I thought it was a great marketing strategy. And then we actually <laughs> we actually hit it off at some some school events shortly after that. And then ended up working working together for for four years, and the rest is history. Yeah, that uh, is an interesting marketing strategy. Putting pictures around an office, I think there's a reason we're doing a podcast. I think I'm, I'm better if you're not <laughs> seeing the video or my face up front. But somehow that that seemed to work. I'm not really sure why. So I guess want to make a bit of a I guess a quick disclaimer uh, on. This podcast, its content obviously isn't something that our respective employers are vetting or are at all related to. So we'll be working hard to ensure privacy, confidentiality is upheld. And that goes for our guests as well. So we want to be respectful and want to learn from people and understand what's going on in the market. But we obviously want to do so in a way that uh, is above board and doesn't put anyone in any hot water. Yeah, absolutely. The goal is to to learn and have a little bit of fun as well. So we're, you know, like Alex said earlier, going to have a, a ton of different guests from CPG, tech, startups, uh, the natural space, cannabis space, alcohol, different industry experts like professors, recruiters, supply chain people, just to really get a well-rounded look at the industry from all angles. So that's something that we're excited about. My commitment and promise is to get some amazing guests on here to allow our listeners to learn and also allow, you know, Alex and I to learn a lot. And I think my other promise is that every episode after this will be much more interesting because Alex and I will be talking a lot less, which is always good. Now we got an ask for you, the listener, don't hesitate to reach out, engage with us. Let us know what you like, what you want to hear more of. We want to hear from you. We appreciate that you're here, so don't hesitate to touch base and, and let us know what you're enjoying and how we can keep making our podcast better. And with that, everyone, we are going to end this first episode. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on our social media channels. Uh, and like Alex said, continue to engage with us. We look forward to chatting with you more soon. Um.